Welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily add new wines into the Cellar Tracker database. The easiest way to start is by going to the Add Wine to My Cellar page, which is available under the Quick Links menu. We're going to create a sample wine here from Cellar Tracker Vineyards, and it's going to be a Pinot Noir from the Willamette Valley. So first thing I want to do is make sure the wine's not already in the database. And it's not there. So what can I do? Well, when you create a wine, the easiest way to do that is to find a similar wine, either from the same producer or even the same region, and then use that as a template for creating your new wine. So Cellar Tracker Vineyards will take away Pinot. Doesn't exist. So since the producer doesn't exist in the database, we want to find something similar. So let's say this Pinot is from Freedom Hill Vineyard. So let's search for that. And then let's find a Pinot from Freedom Hill. And we'll just click the Create a New Wine link directly underneath that. And that's going to use the wine we chose as a starting point for the wine that we're going to create. Now you can go through and edit each of the fields individually. So we can update the vintage. Let's say this is a 2014. And Producer. And we have to go and add a new producer here because Seller Tracker is not a producer. So we click the Add New Producer link. We verify the type, the variety, the designation here. We're just going to say wine number one, search for an existing designation. Not quite the one we want, so we're going to add a new designation here. It's from Freedom Hill Vineyard, and that's from the Willamette Valley. Now you can adjust how it displays by adjusting these settings here. So if you don't want to show the variety or the appellation, we can hide those. So now the wine will display in Cellar Tracker as Cellar Tracker Vineyards Wine Number 1 Freedom Hill Vineyard. And when you're done, you just hit save and a new wine is created. And it's automatically added to your shopping cart. At this point, we highly recommend that you upload label images so that you can later identify the wines and make sure it's the correct one. If you need any help with this process at all, feel free to email us. We're always happy to assist if you're not sure what should go in any particular field. Thanks for watching. If you have additional questions, you can reach us at support at sellertracker.com.